game, power yoga for sports, or regeneration class. I'm gonna plow through it for you. First one is standing forward bend, grabbing opposite elbow, 30 seconds to a minute. Just have the athletes hang there. They can even sway left to right. Next, you're gonna go into a child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch, extend the arms out. 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure you keep reminding them to breathe. Next pose, Sphinx pose. Notice elbows are under my shoulders, forearms parallel, palms flat. Hold here. This might be just enough back extension for some athletes. If they're really flexible, they can hold here. 30 seconds to one minute, depending on the amount of time you have available. Then we go to a downward dog. 30 seconds to a minute. Hold it there, alternating calf stretch. Keep thinking about pressing the chest and head down to increase the stretch in the shoulder girdle, the neck, the back, amazing. Then you're gonna do a crescent lunge. Knee down, right? Level one, both hands in. Level two, outside arm will come to a form. Level three, eventually both arms. Trying to get that back as flat as you can. You can also utilize blocks under the forearms. Hold that for one to two minutes. Then take that front foot and turn it out on a 40 degree, uh, 45 degree angle. Still keep the foot flat though, and the same thing. Level one, two, or three. One to two minutes. You can even stay longer if you have time. Then you're gonna bring it across for pigeon pose. Nice deep glutes. If there's any knee surgery or knee issues, they don't stay in center. They sit on that right butt cheek. Stay here for hip flexors and back. Stay here for nice deep glutes. This one you can stay a little longer if time allows, up to three, four minutes. That's where you really build that mental toughness. Then from here you go to wheel of life. My athletes call it the wheel of death. Left knee up against that right foot. Twist as far as you can. Lower down to your chest. Some people are gonna need a block under their chest. When I'm twisting to the right, I'm trying to go onto my left ear and reaching my left arm like that. Keep pushing into the right hand to square your chest to the floor. Totally release and relax down. That one's a long one too, two to three minutes. Okay, then from there, you come into your puppy pose, which is a child's pose, only arms are out further and your hips are right over your knees. This is gonna allow a lot better shoulder stretch, chest, pec, anterior deltoid. It's amazing, especially if you're breathing really well. Then you're gonna go into down dog. And then you do the other side, lunge, turn out lunge, pigeon pose, wheel of life. Go from the wheel of life into the down dog. And then two minutes, toes tucked. Do the best you can. If you can't, Lean forward, but in time, you should be able to lean back, increasing that speed, and then whatever time allows into your frog. That's regeneration or pre-game routine one for your athletes. They will love it or hate it, but I know it's good for them.